This is a quick experiment to see how I get on with cooking a Jamie Oliver 15 minute meal. We're going for the grilled steak ratatouille in saffron rice. I'm not the best cook at all, but um, I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna try and film it on the flip camera. Right, it starts off with halving half the courgette lengthways. So the recipe is for four people, but there's only two of us. So I'm gonna take the half there. I'll go for the big one, because it's not, not equal. That's half a courgette. And then it says, with this aubergine, it says, slice it one centimeter thick and place both on the griddle pan. So let's go for that. It says 15 minutes, but I haven't actually got every ingredient on the list. I'm missing Dijon mustard, parsley, basil, so lots of herbs. And I know Jamie Oliver's a big fan of herbs, so he wouldn't be too happy. Right, so far so good. And then it says put these in something called a griddle pan. But we haven't got a griddle pan. I've got like a frying pan, um, which I'm pretty sure will be doing the same sort of job really. Right, then we'll fit in there. Not the best start because the pan I've got, I didn't realize these would be so big. Doesn't matter, they're gonna go in there anyway. I'm gonna turn the heat up on those and just leave it. Um, that is an awful start to be honest. Um, next on, here it says, put a mug of rice and two mugs of boiling water. So I'm going to start that off, start the kettle off. And we're going to use this pan here. So I'm going to put the rice in there, like so. I'm just going to double check what it says again. Um, two mugs of boiling water. Right. One mug. Oh God, that's a bit too full to be honest. Dangerous, but there we go. Be fine. And it goes in there, and of course it helps if you turn on. Put the thing on. Turn on the. Uh... It says on the instructions actually. We're getting the things, getting the, um... getting your pans hot and stuff, but. Uh... I'm actually going to Google afterwards to find out what a griddle pan actually is. But, um, it's fine. It's fine. They're just going nice under there. So that's the rice popped in there. And then in with the rice it says um, saffron, which is. Oh, which is. Which is the saffron. Um, let's have a quick check. No, I missed the saffron. I didn't get any saffron at all. It says half a lemon. Let's give these a quick stir it around on the pan. It's extremely small. I think it's actually that will be fine. No, I'm actually going to go under here and use this instead. In there. And put that safe through there. And go for the big one. And then back to the rice. It then says a little something about half a lemon. So half a got full lemon here. Go back after it. Um and this is a pinch of salt, so is that in there? Let's get the salt going. This is half a lemon. And that's going to join the water in there as well. The camera says up to four minutes, four minutes forty-five. So get that little black box. Oh, green box, sorry, for recycling. Um, I'm going to give these a little stir around. 
the new instruction disc system of them being being charred. I think they're coming along really quite nicely. The voice is bugging a bit too thin for my liking. I'm gonna oops lazy. I'm gonna stir and just turn it down a bit. And they're going on fine with the look to it. And slowly burn it. Right. Um right, let's tear the seeds and stalks out of the, tear the seeds and stalks out of the peppers. Right. Tear the seeds and the stalks. This is coming off. The stalks, seeds. You want the green thing? Turn my rice. And it says chop. They chop, chop, chop. Where are we? Seeds, roughly chop. Right. Seems pretty rough. I actually didn't get the seeds out of that, but that's fine. I don't worry about that. Um, I realise there's two peppers, and obviously that's for four people. So I'm not going to pour the green ones in, I'll just do some of the red, some of the green. So they're chopped up nicely. Um, I think it says onion as well. Yeah, it says onion, so I'm just going to grab half the onion and chop that up finely. Here, next step, next step. Chop, 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 chop. Watch my fingers. And smell all the eggs and stuff. So it looks definitely burning. I'll try scalding on it, whatever it is. And the rice is going to be fine. Right. So then, the seeds and stalks, right, put in the casserole pan with the harissa. So we're going to use. <laughs> I've got a casserole pan for me. We're going to use a saucepan. Right, so we're going to call that the casserole pan. Right, that's lit. That's lit. That's those. That's the rice. Um, right, season stalks roughly chopped, put in the casserole pan. So, we're going to come over here. I'm going to put, oops, lazy. I'm going to put half of green pepper in there. I'll just put one of them in it's fine. And then half of the red pepper that we've already got. And then we've got all the red onion in. In there. And then we had, right then, um, with a harissa, harissa, harissa. So the harissa is this stuff. Heaped tea, heaped teaspoon. Let's go with a heaped teaspoon. And there. God, this one's like heaped to me. That's the heaped. Teaspoon. And this is like the oil. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Um, cash on this, the hair. This is the anchovies. 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 I've got two anchovy fillets. Let's go in. Oops, it's easy. Oh. Got the lid. Anchovy fillets in there. 
um, like anchovies, the oil, unpeeled garlic. I don't have any garlic, so I'm going to use this lazy garlic. Sorry, garlic fans. It's all the same. Anchovies there. Turn the west end of the So those veggies are no oil for me, uh, anchovies looks like it's doing. That's what the job I should be doing. Right. Garlic, garlic. Like the garlic's in there with the whisk the anchovies and the oil. Remove the remove the charred courgette and leave it on the heat and roughly chop them on the board, right? So I'm going to bring the charred stuff here. I'm just going to notice my loud things being cut. It's the charred courgette and the machine. I not leave on there. I think it says leave. Leave the pan on the heat. And leave it roughly chopped then, right? I'm not sure how small they'll be chopped, but let's just give them a chop. Oh god, that is hot. That is hot. They've been chopped there. Yeah. Ow, 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 ow. They're fine now. That's Cool down a little bit actually. God. The courgette, here we go. Down the middle. That's a nice, a nice cut. Right. So, what's next coming up? I'm chopping them up. Add them to the casserole dish, right? The casserole dish. And these, let me go back in the big thing then. It's hard to remember what I called each dish because. I haven't been using what Jamie's been calling them, so I need to double check to see what um ow, ow, ow. what thing goes in each one from from what each thing goes in from from the start of the recipe. So they're all chopped up. And I'm gonna add these back to the big thing with a passetta. Right. So now all of these are going in the big thing. That's a big old pan there. That's a minute. Right. All full of the stuff that's all burned and chargled up. I suppose I should give it a stir. And then it says add a dish, the passata, which caused me a few problems in speaking oh. today. I had to Google it to find out what it was. Find a photo of it. Um, no, no, this is not my timing, is it? Right, so that's going to go in as well. Oh, satisfying. Oh. Good job of that. Oh, sorry, the passat is in there now. And the vinegar. Vinegar, vinegar, balsamic vinegar, balsamic vinegar. Um, tablespoon of balsamic vinegar. Right, I'm just going to get a glug. Big Jamie Oliver like. Um, pass that there, right. Um, right. Then, oh, um, where am I, where am I, where am I? Right. Back to, stir that around a bit. I think that's the right one, that's there. Let's all stir that. Rubbing away nice. I think we're onto the steaks now. Um, the sat in the vinegar and boil with the lid on, right? The lid. So that's going to be the lid for that. Um, rub the steaks with the salt, paprika. Right. Rub the steaks with the salt. Right. So that. We're just coming up to 15 minutes now, so. But again, Jamie says don't wish. I read the intro to his book. Right then, salt. Salt there. Salt. 
Right, that's the salt. Um, what was it? Salt. Paprika. Paprika. How much paprika? Way, 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 way. A teaspoon. Right. It's not coming out as quick as I thought. It's quite hard to do a spoon because it's so. Because it's all stuck into a big. Right, that'll do. Gonna scrape it. Oops. The camera went. But we saved the day. And we're still filming. Just quickly getting those rubbed in there. Those rubbed in there. What else is coming up now? So those. Um, olive oil, olive oil, olive oil, right? Pour some of that in there. I think we're good to get these in the big pan then. Um, just double check. Pan, rub the steaks, the paprika, place in the hot pan, turn every minute. This to your liking. Nearly there. Fine. And then I'll keep the big bubbly stuff on the way. I have to eat. Quick stir around. And then let's go on in. Steaks looking good. Just turn them. Turn them over. Like that. They're going fine. Again, tablespoon of oil. Yeah, move on right. to like on the board. I haven't got any parsley stalks or leaves. I haven't got any mustard or virgin oil. Um, mix together, spread on the board, and the six are done. Transfer them to the board. Tear the top. So I'm missing a load of leaves. But I've definitely got the yogurt. So get the plate ready. Right? Probably come along quite good actually. Mm. Like that. They can stay there. Let's give them another flip. Yeah, I'll give it those steaks. That's those. Right then. Serve that so I can take the rice off now that's coming along. Oh, the rice is probably done to be honest. Yeah. I think we're probably done to be honest. Let's turn that off. Let's turn that off. Let's turn that off. Put the rice over here. Quick plate. I'm going to try and plate it up as well as we can. Yeah, the rice is all fluffed up lovely. That's the word he uses. Rice. A bit more rice. Yeah, maybe, maybe I should have drained it actually, it is a bit watery. Whoops. I think right. Yeah, I should have drained the rice to the eyes. That's maybe the pressure of just thinking about the 15 minutes, but. Shouldn't 
Have that there. And then the ratatouille. Wow, that's a lot. I can't, that is a lot. I had a lot of food there. Wow. Right, maybe I shouldn't put as many of those other things I popped in. Splashing over the side. There's a lot left behind there, but that's good. I guess my leftovers for the office tomorrow. And then finally, what I actually set is to tear the steak. So with the steaks, I use like a, a pair of meat. A pair of uh, meat scissors, basically. I'm just going to chop them. Fine now. Actually bent, put them on the board. That's that. Yeah, maybe it's you like that fun up here, that's easier. It says again, you like chopping and roughing stuff. Sorry, chopping stuff roughly. So that's what we're doing. It's actually really hot. <laughs> I'm not sure why we get around there. So yeah, be careful and don't wash burn your fingers. Okay. Here we go. Nicely roughly chopped. A few more chops. It doesn't look as enough actually. We I Thing of board on the steak that was needed. Right, just bring it back over here for the final serve. We're gonna balance there. Just around. Steaks on top of there. And steaks on top of there. And then finally. This is the garnish with yogurt and so let's put a blob on the side there. Put a blob on the side but there. And that is it. Let's have a look in the book. It's Jamie's. It's my 15 minute effort. Let's go and eat it now.